Assalamualaikum, students. Waalaikumsalam, Mr. Muhammad. Take a look at this. Whoa! Wow! Can we eat it? Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, yes, ma'am. What do you see? Food! Oh, time to eat. I love this class. <laughs> Food, that's right. Let's see what we have. A sandwich, mm. milk, a bowl of bean soup, mm. salmon and brown rice, mm. a salad, raw milk, mm. bread, mm. freshly squeezed lemonade, mm. and everybody's favorite, beer! Are we about to eat? Yeah, just looking at all this food is making me hungry. Brother, you're not hungry. You just smell food and you want to eat. Well, it's not time to eat yet, but I brought this fruit out here to ask you a question. What's that, Miss Muhammad? Where does food come from? Brother Tali? Oh, this is an easy one. <laughs> the grocery store. <laughs> yes, but before that. Before the store? Yes, ma'am. Before your food gets to the grocery store, where does it come from? Look at this bean pie. There are many different types of food ingredients that went into making this pie like navy beans, wheat, sugar, eggs, and milk. Think about this, students. Apples, bananas, carrots, pineapples, oranges, navy beans, eggs, wheat, and all kinds of others, you name it. Sure, all fruits and vegetables can be bought at your local grocery store, and all of these different types of foods make up the many meals we eat. But you don't have to get them from the grocery store. The where can we? Get them from. All our food comes from the earth. You and I can grow it. What do you mean? She said, grow it. I heard what she said, Sister Sharifa. Now I need her to break it down. <laughs> when we grow our own food, it comes right out of the earth. After the food is grown, we can eat it, sell it, or take it to the grocery store so others can buy it. Oh! Out of the ground? How does that work? Let me explain. Did you know that our Earth is alive? Alive! 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 alive. alive. What is she talking about? Did she say alive? <laughs> yes, the Earth is alive! And just like how people grow in stages over time, from babies to children, from young adults to adults, the earth also grows in stages, producing all that we need because the earth is alive. We can live much longer and be a lot healthier by eating the good foods that come from our living earth. Hmm. Now, some foods can be harvested, like corn, wheat, and tomatoes. <laughs> Harvest? What's that? Harvest means the gathering of the food that we grow when it is ready to be eaten. A group of food that is planted is called a crop. Crops grow and are harvested in different seasons. Who can tell me what the four seasons are? Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Very good. Seasons are the different climates that the earth goes through during its rotation around the sun. It is the weather and temperature that produces the different climates that grow our crops. So you say good foods make us healthy. What happens if we eat bad food? Bad foods will make you sick. They are against life. 
In fact, they cause us to look older, and they take away our health. We will not be able to live as long if we eat bad foods. How do we know what foods are bad foods, Miss Muhammad? Junk foods, Sister Jamila. You know, junk foods. Burgers and fries, candy and soda. You know, stuff like that. Absolutely, there are many types of bad foods. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us what foods Allah recommended for us to eat and what foods to stay away from in the How to Eat to Live books. But we'll get into that later. I have never grown my own food before, Miss Muhammad. Yeah, me either. Well, today is your day. You will get to see exactly how your food is grown, so you will know just what it takes to put your meal together before you eat it. All right, students. Everyone on the bus. We're taking a field trip to the farm. Assalamu alaikum, children. Brother Rasul, this is cool. Look at all this land. Yeah, and look at all those cows. And the horses. Where do all the buildings, signs, and cars, and people go? Where are we? You're in the, in the country. country. Most of you city children may have never seen a farm before. This is the place where we grow our food, our crops. Miss Muhammad, you mean to tell me? That all the food in all the grocery stores comes from places like this. It looks so empty. Oh, but there's a lot going on, and yes, all that we need comes from the earth. All those grocery stores get their food here, or farms like these. I want to hear you all say this. Repeat after me. All that we need. All that we need comes from the earth. Comes from, from the earth. earth. I am so excited we can be here today, students. Miss Muhammad, do you know what will really be exciting? What's that, Brother Jibril? With all this land, if I could ride my cousin's go kart. It's red with big tires in the back. It has an orange flag in the back, and man, that engine! Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. cool. Brothers, let me tell you, that engine is powerful. My cousin is real smart. He told me the more powerful of the engine, the faster and more powerful the go-kart. Yeah. yeah! You know what, brothers? The Honorable Minister Louis Farquhar teaches us that the farm is the engine of our national life. How can a farm be an engine? The engine in your cousin's go-kart is what makes the go-kart run, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, the farm is what makes our nation run. Because again, all that we need, all that we need, comes from the earth. Comes, comes from, from the, the earth. earth. All right, students. Let me introduce you to one of the brothers who works on this land to produce the food that we eat. Now, where is that brother? The sign here says our horse riding. We'll be back soon. Whoa! 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 Assalamu alaikum, class. Mrs. Muhammad. My name is Brother Ray. Former Ray today. <laughs> We are so honored to have you here at Muhammad's Farm, class. This form, everything that you see here, everything, belongs to you. We produce this so that you may have a better life, a better community, and you may learn. All the staff, everything you see here, we are the ones who grow this, and we grow it for you. I would also like to introduce you to, where's my brother? Oh, here he is. 
Brother Shabazz, come over here. Meet the children. This brother right here, Brother Shabazz, he produces our raw milk class. Assalamu alaikum, children. This is Sister Nadra class. She works in a chicken coop. Assalamu alaikum, children. And I am the ground manager here. I manage and help the workers. We work together producing all the organic produce you see. Would you all like to take a look and see what we're working on? Yes, yes sir. sir. Right this way. I have a question. How many of y'all eat bread? Oh, yeah, yeah I do. I do. I, do. I, know I do. Yeah, eat bread. Yeah, bread. How about, do, what a, okay, I see you right there. Okay, how many of you eat vegetables? Bread? Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, yeah, sir. I eat vegetables. I eat vegetables all the time. Look closely, class. Right here. This is where our food comes from. What? This farm? All food comes from this farm? No, sir, brother. Look real close. <laughs> oh. This is a seed. All of the different types of food that we grow here starts from this little bitty seed. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us to go to the root of all things. This means to go to the origin, or beginning, because this will give you and I a better understanding of what we are studying. That's right, children. These little seeds are the beginning of the different plants that we grow on our farm. Isn't Allah beneficent? Yes, yes sir. sir. Beneficent means to do good, right? That's correct. Allah is the beneficent. Because no one gives or does more than he. Allah gives us all of these seeds that we turn into the soil and it brings about the produce that we have. Let me show you. Okay, class. First, we take the seed, we put it in the soil. Now remember, every seed goes down a certain amount of depth based on the seed. Next thing we do is we cover the seed over with the soil, then we water it. Every seed gets a certain amount of water. We don't want to water too much because then we can drown it out. Now, the next step is for the sun to shine on the soil, warm that seed up, and then the seed produces a shoot that sends its root deeper into the soil. Why do we put seeds inside the dirt or, or, or soil? Shh! Got all these questions. No, Brother Khalil, that is absolutely fine. Asking questions is how we learn. Okay, good, because I think I'm going to have a lot of questions. The first thing you see that comes out of a seed is the shoot. The first thing that we see is the shoot. Okay, got it. The earth's soil has many different elements and nutrients that the plant needs to grow. So when the root or the shoot comes out of the seed and goes into the soil, it is gathering all of the nutrition that it needs in its initial growth phase. If you had x-ray vision and can look underground, this is what you will see. Plants, like most living things, go through stages of development. They start off very small, weak and immature, but as they grow strong and reach full maturity, they can reproduce more seeds, often found in the fruits that we eat or the flowers that they produce. This is why the fruit of the plant is considered the best part because it can feed us and it gives us seed that we can reproduce the plant with over and over again. Whoa, neat! So our food like grapes, apples, and carrots come from seeds? Yes, ma'am. 
Some foods are grown from a tree, like oranges or apples or even lemons. Some foods are grown from vines, like grapes. Some are grown on bushes, like strawberries and blueberries. And other foods come straight from the ground, on plant stalks or even by themselves as the final product, like carrots or onions. These produce come straight out of the ground. Brother Ray, can you give us an example of what food grows from a plant stalk? Yes, ma'am. Corn is an example. It grows on a stalk. Nothing we eat just magically appears. Allah creates a whole world of different types of vegetations for all of His different creations to survive. But all vegetation from the earth is not fit for humans like you and I to eat. That's right, Mrs. Muhammad. What do you mean? Yeah, why can't we eat all the vegetation that grows? That's because we're human, the best of Allah's creation. Very good, brother. What's your name? Brother Malik. That's right, brother Malik. Allah made many different types of creatures: people, animal, insects, and plants. All of them eat something special. Plants eat nutrients from the soil. They consume this nutrients through their roots. Remember, we talked about that earlier. You're not a plant, right? You shouldn't do what plants do, should you? No, no, no sir. sir. Think of all the different types of animals there are, like lions, bears, fish, snakes, birds, cats, dogs, and mice, rabbits, squirrels, and cows. This world is full of different animals. Do you know what cows eat? Grass. Can you eat grass? No. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Why not? Because we're not cows. Eating grass, I'm sure, will make you real sick. Ew. Gross. Now let me tell you, that is a good example. There are things that people eat. That may not hurt their stomachs right away, but it is not good for their stomachs, and causes their stomach to break down. This is the same thing that will happen if you were to eat grass. What tastes good that can make you sick? There are many things. For example, peanut butter comes from a peanut, and peanuts, like grass, are not easy for our stomachs to digest. I have seen peanut butter and all kind of nuts sold in the food store. Yep, but are you a squirrel? <laughs> no, sir. A chipmunk or some other kind of rodent? <laughs> I didn't think so. Well, nuts are for squirrels and other rodents, not for people. Allah did not create our stomachs to be able to break down harsh foods. Remember what I told you earlier. If you want to live a long time, stay away from bad foods, junk foods. You young brothers and sisters are so smart and so very beautiful. Let us learn how to grow our own foods and eat only the best, the foods that Allah has guided us to eat through how to eat to live, so that we may live a long and healthy, productive life. I want to live a long, long, long time and be real strong. So, class, let's take a walk around, and I will show you all of your form and give you an opportunity to see all of the foods that we have grown and are harvesting right now. Who can tell us what this is? Hey, I saw this when we were driving up. These are called corn stalks. I had no idea corn grew so tall. Each one of these that holds the corn are called ears, right? Praise be to Allah. That's right. If you like that, take a look at this. This is wheat. Why are we going away? So we can make bread. That's right. Bread is made from wheat. So we grow lots of wheat because so many people can use it. 
It is a huge staple in our communities and cultures. Have you ever seen navy beans grow? No, no, sir. no, sir. no sir. Look over here. Wow! Now that's a lot of bean plants. There has to be because the navy bean plant does not yield or produce that many navy beans. We need acres and acres of land to feed our people and to produce the bean pies that we all love. When you eat bean soup and bean pie, this is what you are eating. This little bean is so full of nutrition. I sometimes get to help my mom cook the bean soup. But first, we have to wash the beans. Probably because they have dirt on them from being out here on the farm. Correct. Very good, Brother Khalil. Now follow me. Oh, fruit trees! What? I've never seen so many of them. So this is where the grocery store gets the apples and oranges from. By the way. Yes, sir. Let us see some animals. Yeah, I want to see the lions and the tigers and the alligators and stuff. Hey, brother, wait a minute. This is a farm, not a jungle or something. <laughs> it's okay, brother. Look. Come here, big brother. What's your name again? Tali. Brother Tali. I like that name. Listen, I want you to tell me what you see in here. Whoa. Horses! Can, Can I ride one? one? Yeah, that's fine, but I will have to teach you first. Well, how about later? Ow, man, it stinks in here. What is that smell? This is a stable. This is where we keep some of our horses and some of our livestock. Well, you wanted to see animals. You got it. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Animals don't grow things. No, but we have them on our farm for many reasons. Can we pet them? Sure you can. What is this stuff that the horses are eating? I know it ain't food for humans. The horses are eating hay. This is another example of what we were talking about earlier. Different animals eat different things. You all are not horses, right? So could you imagine eating hay for dinner on your plate? Ew! Ew. Ew. Gross! <laughs> Stop playing! <laughs> the horses are eating hay. Some are eating oats. Oats we can eat, but hay we do not. Our farm has a lake as well. We have stocked it with fish and we have ducks. Look over this way. We have turkeys and we also have sheep. There over to our left, we have our honeybees. The bees make honey in what's called a honeycomb. Our farm has a lot of stuff. Yeah, but I haven't seen any. <coughs> ah! Cows! <laughs> uh, excuse me. Milk anyone? Assalamu alaikum, Brother Shabazz. Are you going to give the children some milk? Even better. I'm going to show you all where milk comes from. Follow me. Before milk gets to the grocery store, it has to come from cows. The milk that comes straight from cows is called raw milk. It is the best for you to drink. It is fresh pure and tastes great. Real milk is like medicine. Okay, I'd like for you to meet Bertha the cow. <laughs> you named the cow? Just for fun, trust me, she's not going to talk back to you. Animals don't talk. At least not in any human language. <laughs> <laughs> One healthy adult cow can give you four to eight gallons of milk every day. That's why it's important to have your own cow or at least have one in the family. After our lesson, can the students take some milk home? Absolutely. I'll see to it. Okay, class. We have just enough time for one more stop. 
Assalamu alaikum, children. Well, 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 ma'am. My name is Sister Nadra Muhammad, and this is where I work, right here in the chicken coop. <laughs> That's an interesting name, chicken coop. Yes, here we grow the chickens. Most of them we use to produce eggs. I knew chickens lay eggs. My mother told me about it. That's right. For the chickens to lay the best eggs, we feed them from here. We don't just throw the chicken food on the ground. It's better to put the food off in this feeder that is raised off the ground so the chickens won't eat waste with their food. Oh, that makes sense. Well, Sister Nafisa, you are what you eat. <laughs> All farms don't do this, but your farm does because we want your farm to have the best. You deserve the best. Well, students, this is the end of our tour of our farm. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I had a yeah. great nice time. time. I enjoyed I myself. Time. Man, I had a blast. Thank you, Brother Ray. Sister Nadra and Brother Shabazz. Yeah, thanks. That was cool. Anytime, children. Anytime. We would love to have you here again, class. Until then. Assalamualaikum. I have no idea that it took that much work to make the food we eat. That's probably why Mom always says she doesn't want us to waste it. <laughs> <laughs> Did everyone enjoy the farm? I love the farm, Miss Muhammad. It was Me great. Too. I don't want to leave. Yeah, that was fine. <laughs> I know, that's right. <laughs> I know. What did you like most about the farm, Brother Malik? I enjoy seeing the large crops, just as far as I can see. Brother Russell? I learned that good, healthy food is grown, and that I can actually do it myself. Yes, sir. Brother Tali? My favorite part was the horses. <laughs> Sister Sharifa, how about you? For me, I enjoy seeing how the cows make all the milk that we drink. About eight gallons a day? Wow, that's a lot. Sister Alina, what did you like the most? I just love those fruit trees because I love fruit. You're, You're not, not the, the only, only one. one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the fruit trees were pretty. Sister Jamila and Brother Jabril, what did y'all like the most? I like the chickens in the hen house, Miss Muhammad. Hmm, I think I like the cornfields the most. No, wait. The big trucks that come and get the food. Sister Nafisa and Brother Khalil. I like seeing how wheat is grown. I didn't even know we had our own farm, Mrs. Muhammad. I love coming here, and I hope to come back to see more. Learning about Allah's creation is always fun. Isn't Allah beneficent? Yes, 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 yes. Wait, wait, children. Here's the milk that I promised you. Where's Brother Tali? Yeah, where is the brother? He was just... What? There he is! Yeah! I love the farm! <laughs> well, I guess your students <laughs> learn fast, Mr. <laughs> Muhammad. Oh, boy.
make the meal that is on your plate And before we eat it It should be no secret How your food is made The food we eat will start with A sweet cause that is nature's way For us to eat tomorrow We have to start to grow today Light lives like the ends. Started from a seed, plants and flowers. The major source of all human health and powers. Satan feeds earth and seeds kryptonite. It's important what we put in our lips is right. So we grow what we know is truly positive. Following the guidance from how to eat to live. Book one, book two, now what we gonna do? Get land, it feeds, but you're gonna need these seeds. Put them in the fertilized earth. Wait a few weeks, you'll see you give birth. Make another stop, then plant another crop Pick them when it's time, now it's plenty for the shop Put it in a basket, bag them up in plastic Cause eating what we grow can keep us from seeing a casket